What weight of watercolor paper should you use? I'm Jess Rice. I'm an art teacher, and beginners are my specialty. I use a couple different weights of watercolor paper, either 140 pound or a 300 pound. The weight, how they describe that is in its basic unit size, 500 sheets of 300 pound weigh 300 pounds. 500 sheets of 140 pound weigh 140 pounds. The main thing about watercolors is all the water that you want to float onto your paper. You want to get your paper nice and wet. 140 pound paper takes water a lot faster than a 300 pound paper. 300 pound paper needs to be either soaked in a bathtub for 20 minutes or in the summertime, I like to take it out in the backyard and soak it with a hose to get it nice and wet. You want your paper to relax, you want your pores to open up in it, so you want to get your paper nice and wet when you first start painting. When people are shopping for watercolor paper, they generally look at the 300 pound paper and think, oh, I want to use that because it's nice and stiff and it's not going to roll or buckle on me. But actually, it's, it's made specifically to take a lot of water. So if you're used to painting with very wet surfaces, this is going to work better for you. But you want, may want to start out on just with 140 pound. It takes water a little bit faster, a little bit easier, and you'll get your painting starting, started a little bit quicker. 300 pound paper is about double the price of 140 pound paper. So you do want to use it sparingly. I use this for very specific subject matters. Uh, I use this for a lot of portraits, things that I want to scrub. Lots of brushwork, heavy, heavy pigment. I'll choose a 300 pound paper. It's just a little bit easier to paint with. It stays nice and flat. I can get it really wet and float beautiful colors out onto it.